During my apprenticeship with Elias Lonsdale in the 1990s, he taught me that apart from certain um, very horrendous forms of dying, that the most grueling, exasperating, uh, rigorous thing that ever happens to a soul is being born. And think of it, in order to incarnate this miraculous physics, the physics of metaphysics has to occur, which takes an unlimited spiritual being out of the ethers and crams it down into a teeny embryo in the mother's womb. That massive act of compressing so much life force into that tiny seed, like the seed of a giant redwood tree. Can you imagine the genetic force and content that has to be compacted into the seed of a 400 foot tree? It's even more than that to be a human being, to take all your past lives of the soul, every experience you've lived through, all that ancestry, the people that you used to be in past lives and who they were related to, all that content that's hovering in the spiritual planes and draw it down into the physical plane in order to be conceived and then born. That is the basic miracle of existence, that you are, that you exist. This is no less breathtaking than the existence of a mountain or a planet or a raindrop or a gnat or a universe. Your existence that the universe formed itself in the shape of you is a once in an eternity situation. Because even though your soul may have been here before in earlier bodies, it was never in this body. And so the uniqueness of your own basic existence is the primal miracle, the prime mover. Once you reckon with and swallow and try on for size the miracle of your own existence, it then becomes less of a leap to consider other miracles, like the human race might wake up, war might stop, collective consciousness might become enlightened. These miracles are no less staggering than the fact of your birth, the fact of your existence. From now on, in order to be practical, we have to believe in miracles because the world is stuck and caught in delusion and uh, analytical reasoning alone will not get us through the nightmare. The fact that our children and our children's children might have no world to inherit cannot be countered by flat science, flat politics, flat media, all of those things have become corrupt, have become corporatized. Unless we believe in miracle now, we have no chance. That's why 
to be practical from now on, we need to see beyond the stuck consciousness and the obsolete stories and believe in miracle.